two sticks. Let me show you how to use them. You're going to keep one of them nice and still and use the other one to hit. So one of them is nice and still and the other one is moving like this. You don't want them both to be moving at the same time because it makes it harder to keep the nice steady beat that way. So one still and one moving and we're gonna keep the macro beat. The macro beat means big. We're keeping the big beats. Listen first and I'll show you how it goes. Listen first. Long ago a dinosaur lived in our own state. Just like that. Are you ready to keep the macro beat with me? Here we go. Long ago a dinosaur lived in our own state. He had a healthy appetite and this is what he ate. Green leaves and tops of trees, small plants and tall weeds. What a funny diet. I wouldn't like to try it. Now we're going to keep the micro beat. That means, did you guess? Small. There's macro and micro. That means those are smaller beats and they sound like this. Listen first. Listen first. Long ago a dinosaur lived in our own state. He had a healthy appetite and this is what he ate. Are you ready to keep the micro beats with me? Here we go. Here we go. Long ago a dinosaur lived in our own state. He had a healthy appetite and this is what he ate. Green leaves and tops of trees, small plants and tall weeds. What a funny diet. I wouldn't like to try it. Now that you know what the macro beats and the micro beats are, you're going to play them for me while I play my ukulele. But don't worry, I won't leave you alone, all alone with the macro and micro beats. I'm going to help you. Every time I strum my ukulele, you're going to tap your sticks together. Ready? Tap, tap, tap. Perfect. faster than that, even more micro, even more tiny. It sounds like this. Keep practicing your macro and micro beats for this song.